the EMA region of Philip Morris is the largest geographical region within Philip Morris International, comprising more than 100 countries in Central and Eastern Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and the European Free Trade Association countries of Austria, Switzerland, Sweden, Norway, and Finland. The headquarters for the EMA region is located in Lausanne, Switzerland, which is also home to the company's EC headquarters, as well as Philip Morris European Data Center. An additional office, also located in Lausanne, oversees activities for the Swiss market. All told, more than 600 Philip Morris employees work and live in Lausanne. Most of EMA's senior line staff and key departments are located in EMA's Lausanne headquarters, and their function is to support and coordinate activities throughout the region. These departments include personnel, finance and treasury, administration, marketing, operations, planning, legal, computer systems, and corporate affairs. In addition, we have offices located in more than 20 key markets throughout the region. EMA's cigarette supply network has expanded over the years to keep pace with consumer demand for our products in the region. The company's manufacturing center, Fabrique de Tabac Réuni, or FTR as it's called, produces cigarettes for the Swiss market as well as manufacturing for export to Scandinavia and other markets. In addition, FTR is also home to Philip Morris's second largest research and development center. In December 1991, Philip Morris further expanded its manufacturing capability in the region through its purchase, in partnership with Austria Tabak, of the second largest tobacco manufacturer in Hungary, Egri Tobacco. In March 1992, the company began construction of a $400 million manufacturing facility in Torbali, Turkey, with production planned to begin in 1993. And in April 1992, Philip Morris signed an agreement to acquire Tabak AS, Czechoslovakia's largest tobacco manufacturer, with five factories located throughout the Republic. The entire transaction is valued at a level close to $400 million and is the second largest foreign investment to date in Czechoslovakia. In addition to our factories, Philip Morris also maintains manufacturing and license agreements in several markets throughout the region including Finland, Austria, Central and Eastern Europe, Egypt, and Africa. Philip Morris sales have continued to rise significantly on an annual basis in the EMA region. In 1991, our regional unit volume rose to 88 billion units, up from 66 billion in 1990 and 55 billion in 1989. The company also maintains a dominant position in the growing and important international cigarette segment, and our market share continues to grow. A quick scan of some of our key markets throughout the region provides convincing evidence of a strong upward trend in Philip Morris sales. Among the region's European Free Trade Association countries, Switzerland and Finland are two key markets for PM. In Switzerland, Philip Morris holds a strong number one position led by Marlboro, which accounts for one out of every four cigarettes sold on the Swiss market. Other strong performers on the Swiss market are Philip Morris Super Lights and Philip Morris Ultra. These brands have consistently gained market share since being introduced in 1982, and today are the company's second best-selling brand family in the US international segment in Switzerland. Finland has been a strong market for Philip Morris since 1962, when the company signed its first licensing agreement outside the US with the Amer Group. Today, Finland boasts the second highest market share for Philip Morris anywhere in the world, and Marlboro is far and away the market leader. Moving to the central and eastern European area of the EMA region, this area represents enormous growth potential for Philip Morris. The demand for our products, especially our flagship brand Marlboro, is very strong throughout Central and Eastern Europe. And with the increasing liberalization of markets in this area, Philip Morris is now in a better position to satisfy this demand. Given a preference, Central and Eastern European smokers are eager to try Philip Morris brands with their reputation for quality 
and backed by innovative and exciting promotions. Awareness of Philip Morris Brands has also been assisted by our long-term presence in these markets through license agreements stretching back over 20 years. Today, Philip Morris is in the best of positions to capitalize on this goodwill and respond to consumer preference with our wide brand portfolio. A spectacular breakthrough occurred in Russia in 1990 when authorities there turned to Philip Morris for assistance during the severe cigarette shortage in July of that year. Philip Morris responded by agreeing to ship over 20 billion cigarettes to Russia, the largest export order in the company's history. This was followed by another agreement in December 1991 to ship an additional 11 billion cigarettes to Russia, as well as agreements to begin producing Marlboro in two factories located in southern Russia. In January 1991, Philip Morris established a representative office in Moscow to handle the company's growing business in Russia and the other republics. The purchase of the Egri tobacco factory in Hungary has significantly strengthened Philip Morris's position on the Hungarian market. Philip Morris has been selling its brands in Hungary for over 15 years. Today, our Marlboro and Multifilter brands dominate the international cigarette segment, with Multifilter the fastest growing brand in Hungary. With the acquisition of Egri, we plan to develop new brands for Hungary and have already upgraded existing Egri brands such as Helicon. In Czechoslovakia, Philip Morris's investment in Tabak AS ensures a strong and continued presence for Philip Morris in this 30 billion unit market. Tabak has produced Marlboro under a license agreement since 1987. Marlboro is far and away the number one brand in the small but surging international cigarette segment in Czechoslovakia and its volume more than tripled in 1991. The Tabak acquisition adds to PM's portfolio the local brand Petra, which is the fastest growing brand in Czechoslovakia. In Poland, Philip Morris has been producing Marlboro under license for over 20 years now in the ZPT factory in Krakow. The strength of Philip Morris in Poland is evidenced by Marlboro's soaring lead over our competitors in the international cigarette segment. Two other areas of growing importance to Philip Morris in the EMA region are Turkey and the Middle East. Turkey has historically been a very strong market for Philip Morris, particularly in the international cigarette segment where PM commands a dominant share of the market and a towering lead over the competition. Although Turkey's cigarette market is largely controlled by the government tobacco monopoly Tekel, Philip Morris is a strong and growing force in this market. The new manufacturing centre under construction in Torbali near Izmir will, when completed, allow Philip Morris to produce Marlboro and Parliament and significantly increase our competitiveness in the market. The Middle East and Gulf countries do not produce our brands, but we have strong market shares there thanks to a network of local distributors and retailers. In Saudi Arabia, Philip Morris's marketing efforts have ensured that our brands dominate the shelves, which in turn has helped to strengthen our position as the industry leader. In Kuwait, we were the first multinational cigarette company to resume business after the war, and our prompt re-entry into the market resulted in a dramatic rise in our market share and a bolstering of our number one position in the market. Another highlight in the Gulf was the reopening of the Iranian market, which had been closed to foreign imports since 1979. Philip Morris was the first international company to re-enter Iran, a country which represents enormous potential for EMA, with an estimated consumption of 40 billion units. We conclude our highlights of key EMA markets with a look at Egypt and Africa. In Egypt, we have been operating under a manufacturing license agreement with Eastern Tobacco Company since 1987. Marlboro has an undisputed and growing lead in Egypt's international cigarette segment with sales and market share continuing to rise dramatically on a year-to-year -year basis. In 1992, 
our production capability in Egypt was greatly assisted by the completion of a new production facility in Giza, on the factory site of Easton. Taken as a whole, Africa is becoming an increasingly important market for Philip Morris. We supply the market with our cigarettes through a combination of exports from PM factories in the US, Brazil and Europe, as well as through manufacturing license agreements in Senegal, the Ivory Coast and the island of La Réunion. Major brands for Philip Morris in Africa include Marlboro, Marlboro Lights, L&M, Bond Street, Congress, Philip Morris Super Lights and Philip Morris Ultra Lights. At present, the core of Philip Morris activities in Africa are the 11 countries comprising West Africa, where PM's market share, growing at an impressive annual rate of 3%, is now over 20%. Philip Morris's leadership position extends beyond its sales and marketing activities into the area of social responsibility. Each year, the company dedicates a portion of its contributions budget to supporting a wide range of societal and cultural programs. This support is distinctly separate from the company's branded marketing activities. Our commitment to the arts began over 30 years ago. Although Philip Morris was still a relatively small company back in the 1950s, when we emerged as an early modern-day pioneer of corporate sponsorship, we believed then, as we believe now, that an active contributions program is the most tangible expression of our commitment to our employees and to society at large. As Philip Morris has grown, so too has our contributions budget. Today, the company's sponsorship programs, refined by three decades of continuous evolution, are vast and varied, ranging from small local projects to events on a national and global scale. In an aim to promote a cross-flow of cultural exchange, over 50% of EMA's cultural funds are used to export indigenous art and culture to the US and other countries throughout the world. Whether it's a Nordic film festival in New York, or a US tour of the art treasures from the age of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, Philip Morris sponsorship activities are designed to stimulate within the world community a better understanding and appreciation of the traits and qualities that make each country unique while emphasizing our belief that art is a truly universal experience. In the area of education, Philip Morris EMA has provided numerous scholarships and grants over the years to enhance the educational environment and provide greater access to educational opportunities in local markets throughout the region. Philip Morris activities in the areas of welfare and emergency relief are active and ongoing ranging from a donation of kidney dialysis machines to hospitals in Poland, to emergency aid in the form of food relief, to Kurdish refugees fleeing to Iran and Turkey following the start of the Gulf War. At Philip Morris, we measure our success not merely in terms of income and volume growth and in overall returns to our stockholders. We also aim to be the best in anticipating and providing for the needs of our customers and in accepting and fulfilling our responsibilities to the communities in which we live and work.